What's up all my devil dogs? It's your boy Sean Ali, Strength Course on a Firestar General. Welcome to another video. Um, so today, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my diet. I've decided to kind of go a different direction than I was. I was in a slight deficit, but um, I'm gonna attempt to do basically kind of, I guess, maintenance calories for the weight I want to be. I'm about 235 pounds, 232 to 235 pounds right now. And so I wanna kind of maintain that and then maybe do basically a little tiny water cut. But what I'm gonna do is, because I'm basically in a deficit, if I was to eat that consistently, I would be losing weight. Um, I'm gonna up my calories a bit, up to 3,000. So it's gonna make me have a few, like a little bit more carbs during the week, a little more on the weekends, a little more fat here and there. So that's just how I'm gonna go about it. I'm pretty confident in it, and I think that it will not only help me with recovery, but also with just getting stronger. I've got 10 weeks to get as strong as I can because I really wanna hit this 15 hundred pound total so I can qualify for nationals and then maybe do something you know I don't know nationals this year or just know that my my numbers are qualifying you know so uh, that's what I'm gonna be trying to do but uh, before we do any of that I've only eaten cereal today I had like five serving five servings well I can't speak this one I had five servings of my special K protein cereal with just some milk and now I've got um, where is it? It's in here somewhere. I got my little pre-workout. That yak. Shout out to Russ Swole. You know what I'm saying? Got the BPN and some uh, zero calorie Gatorade up in here. So I'm gonna drink that. Uh, then I got like for intro workout, usually after my squats, I'm pretty gassed. And so I usually will have like a little Lenny and Larry's cookie with a little protein shake from, you know, Premier Protein. Cause you know, they be sending your boy that good, good, that good, good. And so I'm gonna have that like in the middle of my workout and then probably pop another one after my workout is over and then head over to get a post-workout meal. So I'm talking a lot. So let's go in here, let's lift these weights and then get out of here and we can talk a little bit more about nutrition and water cuts and all that other good stuff that you guys probably clicked the video for. So let's go inside. Lillard, long range three. Ah! Let's go! on the bar 200 kilograms um it was supposed to be 435 but honestly i didn't feel like putting all the little tiny like small kilo plates so i'm just gonna i'm gonna go for it i feel pretty good today so uh we're gonna go for a set of four at an rp of seven i'm feeling pretty good i'm gonna give myself about five more minutes of rest hit this shit and then it'll be back down work this is the hardest thing i'll probably be doing today because i don't think deadlifts are gonna be too hard try and talk a little bit loud because I know it's kind of loud in here and I'm right by the freaking speakers but um I was very pleased with how my 440 pounds moved it felt a lot heavier than it looked on tape which is why it's really important whenever I come to the gym that I make sure that I am recording my sets even if I don't post them on Instagram or even if I don't post them on YouTube it's just for me to kind of see and coach myself from set to set maybe I didn't hit depth you know the way I wanted to maybe um the bar path was a little bit off maybe I didn't stay in my quad there's too much hip shoot um, it could be a lot of different things but you won't know that just by feeling it you know that last like RP 7 that I did for 440 it actually felt maybe like an RP 8 when I looked at the the clips like 
like in my head I thought maybe I could get three but the way it moved it moved very smooth and I know I could have gotten three if I really just focused because a lot of times what'll happen especially when it's higher rep stuff is I just kind of check out mentally which is something I'm still working on but like after three reps it's like okay bro like it's hard to make every rep look the same and go through all these cues in your head and stuff like that so um, I'm really pleased with how the 440 moved it was supposed to be 435 I decided to just go ahead and um, since I'm upping my calories go ahead and kind of you know go for broke and I think it was pretty accurate still so um, I'm going to start dismantling this uh, <laughs> Uh, or taking down the weights from the bar from the squat bar and I guess I have to wait for a deadlift platform because everybody's deadlifting right now so uh, as soon as one opens or I can maybe share one because I use kilos and a lot of people use just regular pound plates um, then I'll go ahead and I'll get my deadlifts out of the way but until then I'm gonna go ahead and eat me a little Lenny and Larry's for a little protein you know what I'm saying uh, just snack on that replenish a little bit and go hit my deadlifts and um, then get out of here man and uh, talk to you guys a little bit about nutrition so uh, uh, enjoy the deadlift clips and then we'll get out of here. But for whatever reason, uh, this looks so ugly without my freaking tripod. But for whatever reason, I just had like a freaking awesome workout. Like, like God diddly damn, that shit was good. <laughs> like, I don't know, everything just moved. I didn't move anything heavy today, but like everything just was smooth, man. Like for my warm ups, like I felt good. I have been feeling trashy this last week, man. The last week, like everything felt heavy. Squats felt off, like my positioning felt off. Like my legs was all tight. I started doing my rehab stuff again, um, really got back on top of my foam rolling and stretching, and that's really helped. And I've only been doing it a few days, so I gotta stay on top of it. So I had a damn good workout today. My positioning on deadlifts, y'all saw them clips, that shit was on point today. Like deadlifts just felt really good. So I'm in a good mood, man. I'm about to go get some Chick-fil-A, fuck it up. And talk to y'all about nutrition and then I'm gonna probably just chill out man watch this Golden State game edit this video so you guys can have it for Sunday because I promised back-to-back -back videos so I'm just I don't know I'm, I'm feel I'm just in a good mood right now man I'm trying to I'm trying to ride this wave I caught a vibe and I'm trying to hold on to it so anyways man I will see y'all probably at Chick-fil-a or in my room or wherever the fuck I end up All right, guys, so I'm going to bring the video to an end here in a second. But what I want to do really quick is just talk about my nutrition and what's going to be changing with that, because I did mention that earlier in the video. So how I'm changing my nutrition, right? Um, I decided to number one, I was in a small deficit, but I've been kind of like eating pretty much at maintenance and I'm staying about 234, 235, which is really only about four or five pounds heavier than my weight class. So I'm going to stick to around there so that way I can be at my strongest and then probably do just a little water cut or something that should be very easy it's only like three or four pounds i'd have to lose um before i go ahead and go into my competition which is months away it's like two months away i've got about nine weeks so i that should be fine i'm also going to change my macros too so i was doing a gram per pound of body weight um i'm gonna up that to 1.2 i just want to see um 
you know, if that helps with recovery. I know in the past I've had really high protein diets and that's actually really, it, number one, keeps me very satiated. And number two, I've seen my body composition just be a little bit, uh, a little bit better to be honest. So um, I wanna go ahead and give that a try. I'm sure also I know that the bioavailability of protein matters. So um, sometimes you can ingest protein. I think I was reading somewhere, uh, don't quote me on this or anything, but it was like about 30% doesn't get used or something like that. I, I don't remember, so I don't wanna, I'll make a, maybe a protein video later on. But what I do know is that having more is not bad. Uh, once you have more than you need, then your body just, you know, gluconeogenesis, it'll just convert it into basically glucose to use as energy and fuel. So it's not like a bad thing. A lot of people think that too much protein is bad for your kidneys and all this, you know, BS. That's just like an old way of thinking. So I'm gonna be upping my protein, cutting my carbs back a little bit. I'm keeping my fats pretty much at about an average of like 65, 66 grams so I'm gonna have them lower during the week and then a little bit higher on the weekends and that's gonna be it I'm just gonna see how that rolls and probably stick with that for the rest of my contest prep or yeah my meat prep I want to say contest prep because then people think I'm doing a bodybuilding show and skirt we ain't about that life over here all right guys so hopefully you did enjoy the video and learn something if you did be sure to subscribe leave a thumbs up down below really helps the channel grow also don't forget to click that bell next to the subscription button so you get notifications for all my new videos and of course don't forget the orders subscribe and share like and comment follow all my social media till next time all my devil dogs dismiss so dark you cannot see who i'm riding with diamond glisten all up in my watch can tell what time it is diamond clusters all up in my watch they got you blind and shit i tied a beat up then i fucking yeah i'm on some violent shit